Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York, today, Tuesday, September 17th, 2024. Now, you may see a lot of TV trucks. Today is the day of Sean Combs' Diddy to be presented here in the STNY, but we're going to do a very fast Trump item. There's a guy screaming about, why are you not on my label? But uh, the um, Mark Meadows' attempt to get his uh, the Arizona case removed to federal court was rejected by an Arizona federal judge, Tucci. So there's that. That's the Trump docket. But we're back to this. Now, yesterday we were told by our sources here to expect something big today. And then it was revealed what it was. Uh, Sean Combs arrested. Apparently, after the raids on his homes in Miami and in... Uh, we're going to show this guy, actually. I, I, I don't have time to shoot another one, so we're going to... Look, here we go. Why do you come to my table? So in any event... This will be today, and we'll be covering it. We'll be covering it quite closely. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Wigdor, supposedly, is here. A plaintiff's lawyer, also involved in a number of other sexual tra sex trafficking cases on the plaintiff's side. Uh, in civil litigation, he's here. Agnifilo is here, the lawyer for Sean Puffy, Sean Diddy Combs. And so it's all, it's all coming together. Now, first, before that, there's that, believe it or not, the tail end of the FTC versus Tapestry and Capri hearing. We're going to cover that. There's Michelle Bond, the uh, Republican candidate, uh, failed candidate, but uh, that ran on a pro-crypto platform. Um, she's appearing uh, before Judge Daniels. And the question is going to be whether, whether um, Ryan Salem will be able to testify that he thought that they would agree not to go after her. So at the UN, corruption continues. UNIDO, we've written yet another scoop about UNIDO. We have other ones, but this UNIDO one is interesting because... It's a kind of an on-again, off-again uh, UN agency, and the people there are kind of, kind of worried. We have some whistleblowers citing, citing various whistleblower protections, and we're publishing the stories. And of course, from the UN, nothing. Not just Guti not just Dujaric, not just Fleming. There's a new PGA, Philemon Yang, and his spokesperson, longtime UN communications uh, uh, person, Sharon Birch. No answer at all. The, the place just corrupts things. These are written. When you're a spokesperson and you get an email, particularly, I would assume that Philemon Yang would want to respond about Cameroon, his country, the reason he got his seat, no answer at all, total corruption. But we're going into the courthouse. It's Diddy Day, inner city press, to be continued.